Hey everybody, I wanted to take a quick moment to go over one of the components in our component marketplace called the radio button. And this component is really unique in that it serves a very specific purpose. Um, it's, it's extremely helpful when you, uh, A, don't need to use relationships and you want to force your user to select only one thing from a list, all right? Uh, previously, the only way to do this would be to either use a drop down or create some sort of kind of crazy custom list thing with visibility, right? Like go in here and add all these click actions and, um, you know, change the visibility to be sometimes visible if this equals that and all that sort of stuff. Um, and it, it's actually not even possible with a uh, just a regular simple list um, because users would be able to select multiple uh, toggles, right? You could... Uh, in these uh, toggles here, you could go in and say, well, you know, only when the toggle is turned on do I want them to have this role. The problem with that is that um, you can't connect that to um, uh, a relationship really. And then uh, they can also select multiple roles. And then what do you do? Uh, so uh, I want to show you the, the radio button here and how it can be super powerful if those two criteria are true for you. Um, you don't need to use relationships and uh, you want them to be able to pick just one thing from a list. And there's two kind of examples here that I want to go through uh, that I think this is appropriate for. Uh, the first one here is just the, the choosing of roles. So I have a database collection over here called roles and I have three records in it, just uh, admin, teacher, and student. And uh, obviously a person can only be one of those three things, really. Um, I, I mean, I guess you could have an admin who is a teacher, but um, for this example, we just want them to be one, uh, one of those things. So this, uh, what's unique about this is if you go to the um, component marketplace, you can explore the marketplace and just search for radio and you'll find this, this radio button component here. Um, and once you drag it in, if you click on it, You've got a bunch of different options here, um, and I've got this selected to have no default value, meaning that when the user loads this, the page, um, none of these will be filled. None of these little radio icons will be filled. Um, you can change, change the leading, whether it's, you know, the button is before or after. Uh, you can choose the list items that you want to pull from uh, and then filter those. So I'm just pulling all of the roles. And I can even sort them and provide a maximum number of items just like any other list. Then here in these options, I've got an option for the text that appears here. And then also the text or, or the value of that option. Um, and the value and the text are two different, they're different things or they can be different things. And this is really useful for when you want to display the option as one thing and record its value as something else. So for instance, if I... Uh, when we look at the quiz example, I may want to put in the answer option and the value of that answer option uh, to grade the quiz, for example. Um, so those are kind of two different things. For this one, though, I just need one because uh, they're just picking a role and I'm going to save it to their user record. And then uh, I've got some option styling here, you know, padding. Uh, I can change whether it's, you know, compact or spread out. Um, I can change the padding, the colors, all that sort of stuff. Okay, so the way that this works is it doesn't connect to a relationship or the database in any way, but what we can do is we can reference it as an input in actions. So on this save button here, I have a click action here to update the user and I have a text property in the user's collection. I'll show you that called role and it's just a text property. It's not a not a relationship or anything like that. Um, and what it's going to do is this action is going to save. If I go under other components, you'll see that radio button is one of the options that I have here. And I can choose either the option text or the option value. Um, and I can save this option value into like a uh, custom formula if I wanted to, or uh, just, you know, save the text, which is what I'm doing in this case. So I'm saving whatever the user selects into their their user record here. So let's go ahead and preview this and I'll show you what this looks like. So again, previously, if you clicked on these, right, uh, a person would be able to choose uh, all three if they wanted to. But with this, if I click on this, 
I can only choose one of these at a time, which is super useful for uh, kind of guiding your users through um, this sort of selection process. And then when I click Save, it's going to update my record, and you'll see that in the database here, I've got one user, Johnny Test, of course, and his role is student here, all right? And you can do this for anything. Um, anything that you want to save into a text property, uh, you can do that here. The second example that I wanted to show you really quickly is just using this for a static quiz. Now, this is not going to work for like a, a dynamic quiz because um, this component can't, it, it doesn't reference the, the database or relationships in any way, but it's super useful for having like one-time surveys, one-time quizzes, things like that. So I've just got just static pieces of text here as the questions. So, you know, what's your favorite color, all that sort of stuff. And then what I've got is a database of a collection of answer options. So in answer options, I've got the answer text, the answer option value, and the question number that it corresponds to. And if you open these up, you can see that these are actually the options that people have to choose from for those questions. So for what's your favorite color, they can choose from red, blue, green, yellow, uh, the planet, Mercury, Earth, Jupiter, Mars, and so on, all right? And all I'm doing is I've just got this set up, this radio button component set up to look at all of the answer options and filter it to the question number that it corresponds with. So in this case, question number is equal to one. In this case, the question number is equal to two. And if I want to copy this down, I'll just press option uh, on a Mac, or I believe it's uh, the Windows key, or maybe the Alt key on a PC. Click and drag that down. Um, and then this one will be, you know, number three here. Um, and then what I can do is I can drag in a button here to submit the quiz. And then what I would want to do is, since I have a, another collection called quiz attempt here, it's going to create a quiz attempt and link me to this page. And I can then update that quiz attempt with whatever the person has has uh, chosen as their selections, right? So question one answer is going to be uh, the other components. This is the, the second uh, radio button quiz two is this this uh, section of answers here. You can just choose this uh, option text. I'll save this value, option value, right, and, and so on. So you kind of get the idea here, right? So question three, we're going to save the, the question, the option value, right? And you can see that each of these are just individual components or individual properties, I mean. Uh, oops, I think I saved the wrong one. Oh, no, we got it. Okay. So then when I preview this, you can see that it only lets the user choose. Let me go into quiz example here. Um, my favorite color is green. Earth is definitely the third planet from the sun, and Antarctica is south, right? So I can hit submit. It's going to create that on the back end. doesn't really link anywhere. But you can see in our quiz attempts... This is the one that I filled out right here. So I've got green, zero, uh, I got uh, a zero answer for that one. Earth, zero. Okay, so we've, we've got this, uh, these sorts of things here, uh, answering, answering, filling out this quiz attempt, all right? So that's a, just a brief rundown of how you can use the radio button demo. Again, it doesn't link to anything in the database or the relationships, but it's super, super useful when you just want to grab text, let the user pick from a list, and then save that value into their user record or into another record of some kind um, and only let them choose one specific thing from that list.